Hey everyone and welcome to day four of juice cleansing. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of an update as to where I'm at, how I'm feeling, what I've noticed, and also I want to talk to you about the difference between centrifugal juicing and cold press juicing. Cold press juicing has been very much blown up in the media recently as the most beneficial way to juice your produce but sometimes it's not so easy to do that kind of juicing at home. So I want to run you through the pros and cons of both types of juicing. So let's get started. Right here you're seeing a centrifugal juicer. This is a juicer that's typically used at home. One, because it's more affordable. It's faster than cold pressing which cold pressing is a slow process. It's easy to operate. And the cons of it are as follows. There's degradation of the produce. The cleanup, prep, and time put into it is quite long for doing something at home in your kitchen. And if you aren't very well versed in juicing, you can have a huge huge mess. And there's also the loss of money. So while you are paying for a juicer that's more economic for you in your home, you're actually losing money in the fact that you are losing nutrients in the processing of juicing. So how it happens is that the centrifugal juicer, as you can see, is spinning. And when it spins like that, it's actually adding air and heat to the produce. And because the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals are all contained in the cells, when they're spun like that, they're actually being degraded because they are so fragile. So the air is oxidizing them, the heat is heating them up, and all of that really contributes to the degradation of all those valuable nutrients, minerals, and enzymes that you're trying to get out of that beautiful organic produce that you bought and with this juicer that you've purchased. So essentially you're losing money because you're losing the potential impacts of the produce, if that makes sense to you guys. So you want to have your full value, so you want to juice in the most beneficial, <laughs> you want to juice in the most beneficial way possible so that you can get your whole entire money's worth. So with centrifugal juicing, you're not really going to get that. You are gonna get some of the nutrients, yes, but most of them are gonna be degraded in the process, and then you have to make, um, you have to drink that juice within 20 minutes to even get some of those nutrients back. So a centrifugal juicer, if you're doing a juice cleanse for yourself, you'd have to juice every single time you went to get a juice. And I don't know about you, but when I'm on a juice cleanse, I do not want to deal with that hassle. I just want to drink my juice, calm my body, and detox. Because <laughs> it is a lot to be able to handle all of that juicing process every single time when you go to make a juice with the knowledge that all those nutrients degrade in about 20 minutes. All right, so cold press processing. This is typically done with a Norwalk, and that is what you're seeing in this video here is a Norwalk. And what it does is it has a rotating blade, but it doesn't spin at high enough RPMs to actually degrade the nutrients. So it grinds up the produce, and then you put it in a bag, and you squeeze it between two plates at 1,000 pounds of pressure. And I believe on the Norwalk you can twerk it up a bit or torque it up a bit so that it can be more pressurized, but I, I'm not positive on that. But essentially what it's doing is it's squeezing all those nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes out of the produce in a slow, cold processing way. So no air and no heat are added to the produce in that fragile state so that you can get the full nutritional content of the produce. And this also allows for your juice to have a five-day shelf life. So if you're doing a three-day cleanse or a five-day cleanse, it's amazing because you can just make the juices if you have a cold-pressed juicer at home and just make them and then you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it the rest of the time you're cleansing. But some of the cons are that cold-pressed juicers are expensive. The Norwalk is 
around $2,500 and maybe increasing since the last time I looked it up, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's around $2,500 for startup and it's a little bit more time consuming and labor intensive. So you have to really know what you're doing. You have to be dedicated to the processing. So if you can get in a really good habit of having fresh produce in your fridge and waking up every single morning to juice, then by all means, go for that. Now I wanna to talk to you guys about Naked, Odwalla, Snapple, um, any of those kinds of juices, um, Suju, Suja, Suja juice, any of those kinds of juices that you're seeing in grocery stores have to be pasteurized. So they have to be heated up to an even more intensive interval than with regular centrifugal juicing. And that is because the um, Department of Agriculture, they want to make sure everything is bacteria free, it's not going to get people sick, it's the same thing with milk, any kind of orange juice that they sell in the store, it has to be pasteurized. So you will see a lot of juices out there that say they are cold pressed, but they have been pasteurized after the fact that they've been cold pressed. And most of the times they're HPP, pasteurization, which is high pressure pasteurization, and that's when the juice is put on under a high pressure system, and because it's put under that pressure, the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals will degrade. And these juices can have anywhere up to six month shelf life, and just think about it, can you have produce in your fridge for six months and it actually stay good and like something you wanna eat? I don't think so. <laughs> so those juices have a six month or longer shelf life. I'm pretty sure Naked has a longer shelf life. And these juices that are both cold pressed but high pressure pasteurized also have a ton of preservatives and most times even more sugar in them than a soda. Yeah, more than a soda. That's crazy. So I do not, do not, do not recommend juice cleansing with any of those kinds of juices that you see in the store. If you want to have someone make you the juice, then go to a specific cold pressed juicery that's in your area. A lot of them are popping up all over the United States, all over Canada, and I think that is the best method about cleansing is to go to a place where you can see them making the juice and you know that they aren't pasteurizing it because then you're gonna get your full money's worth. Okay, I know juice cleansing can be really expensive and it can be scary to spend all that money on juice, but those juices are packed with nutrients and packed with vitamins and minerals to wash over your body and help to cleanse your body. So definitely go to a cold pressed juice bar near you where they don't pasteurize to get your juice. Do not go for the cheaper end thing because it's high in sugar, it's not giving you the nutrients and vitamins you need for detoxing and it's going to make you feel like crap. So go for the high quality juice and you will feel your best. Okay guys, I just wanted to give you a little update on me. This is all healing very nicely right here. And I'm looking in my screen over here, so sorry. <laughs> my skin feels really good. Uh, I know I had some like breakouts right here before, but they're all healing up really well. And the biggest thing that I noticed is that my bowels, my bowel movements are once a day, but large. Um, like it feels like my whole system is being cleansed out and I know that's totally TMI, but with all my juice cleanses around day four is when I notice that bowel movement start to happen and it's just your body excreting a lot of waste. We actually have, I believe it's anywhere from 30 extra pounds of waste in our system at all times. So when you do a juice cleanse, your body is able to kind of move some of that up and move it down and out of your system. So that's what I'm experiencing right now. My stomach feels a little bit flatter because of it. So that's what's happening on day four. I'm feeling good, feeling great, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you tomorrow.